Hi guys, I'm back with another one and in this one we are going to take a look at Biff RC battery portable pulse bolt welding machine. So uh, uh, I know that many of you are subscribed to my channel because of the battery soldering and spot welding uh, tutorials and I also uh, already made uh, um, a video about the, this uh, spot welder. Uh, I'm going to compare the BFRC to my previous one that is actually really good. I don't have any issues, but there is an issue with availability of uh, this one. So yeah, let's open the box. Uh, it comes in the, this plastic uh, box. It has uh, instructions, the tool, tool itself, USB Type-C cable, these two prongs, and a little bit of tape. So, um, for the unit itself, it has USB output so you can charge something with it. Uh, this is the Type-C uh, input power that you use to charge the, the unit. And in the front you have the battery indicator that is barely visible. And you have your, your power settings. So yeah, um, for the tool itself, you simply hold the button and it turns on with an audible sound. And you have your power here that you cycle through with the, with the button on the back. So not to go over all the settings, it has this kind of layout. So. Um, only one grid and only one that is turned off so ninth gear is all the way up all the green green uh, uh, LEDs are on so yeah um, for the for the arms um, they come with this really nice BFRC uh, connector that is also a battery connector and the tool itself you simply connect the arms or prongs to the tool and you are ready to go so uh, as I already told you uh, I will compare it to this one uh, I will leave, leave the link in the description below for the both units this one doesn't have a type C and it's somewhat heavier than, than BFRC. Um, it also comes with, um, with these prongs, but they are not nearly as clean and good looking like the BFRCs. And these are smaller and rounded, but the BFRCs are bit larger and not rounded so let's see how it uh, wells the batteries so only reason um, I bought the the other one is just to show you the the most popular um, spot welding uh, tools on the market uh, so far this one was really really good really solid option it's no need to upgrade if you have uh, this one but it's usually out of stock so uh, I will I talk I will this one and try it out so let's see how it performs this is on the lowest setting and the spot welds are 
actually really nice even on a low setting but let's go with the power on the fifth setting that I recommend and the weld look really really nice I mean and I'm, I'm touring the strip at this point so well the tool actually does what it's uh, supposed to do um, it's more than capable of uh, it's more than capable of uh, spot welding all your uh, all your hobby uh, uh, needs if you are looking to uh, do um, packs of uh, custom batteries uh, this is a really inexpensive way to get you really really solid results as you see I mean uh, you have um, also this option I think it's um, currently uh, out of stock and it's a little bit uh, more expensive but you can really go uh, wrong with either of those I mean these these prongs look really really nice and I mean the unit is really solid so um, yeah if you find this uh, useful uh, yeah purchase from the link in the description thank you